First and foremost, I want to put this disclaimer that we have been negotiating with a group of 12, but because of certain differences, or at least on the issue of political detainees, we couldn't find agreement. The Africa group have proposed that we go to our original proposal. So as a representative of the South African Parliament, I'm reaching out to you with immense urgency. <laughs> and concern regarding the unfolding humanitarian crisis in the Gaza and the ongoing conflict between the Palestine and Israel. It is absolutely imperative that we rally collective support behind this item titled Raising Awareness of the International Court of Justice Provisional Measures in relation to Palestinians in Gaza and of the need for urgent action on the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Close quote. Our crucial proposal underscores a series of critical actions that, if backed by our collective effort, can catalyze positive change and relieve the immense suffering of civilians in the region, particularly women and children. Moreover, it is imperative to emphasize the profound importance of the International Court of Justice's judgment and provisional measures that stands for Israel. This judgment stands to provide a legal and diplomatic framework for addressing the conflict and its humanitarian consequences, setting a precedent for the international community in addressing similar situations in the future. I implore you to support our item and join us in advocating for the urgent measures outlined in our proposal. Essentially, these encompass raising awareness, releasing of hostages, providing humanitarian aid, preventing violations of international law, fostering dialogue and negotiations, and actively supporting the two-state solution. By securing your support, we collectively demonstrate our shared commitment to upholding multilateralism, addressing humanitarian crises, upholding international law, fostering peace and ensuring the protection and well-being of individuals affected by the conflict. Your backing of these measures will serve as a resounding testament for our, un for our unified dedication to promoting peace and security in the region. This proposal was supported by the African group, by the Arab group, by Malaysia, as well as Indonesia. This proposal from South Africa, and I earnestly request your careful consideration and support for this crucial initiative, as your collaboration in this endeavor will be instrumental in effective positive change in a region that is in urgent need of our collection, collective action. I thank you. Kiali Boha, Nkosi. Madam President, Mr. Secretary General, members of Parliament, dear colleagues, I stand here today in front of you representing the State of Israel, a nation which was forced, forced into a war with the radical terrorist organization of Hamas. I listened to the representative from South Africa supporting the Hamas terrorists, calling them political detainees. Do you know that you are protecting the savages who attacked us on October 7th, who kidnapped innocent children, killed their parents in front of them? Do you know that you are protecting the animals who raped young children and videotaped it. Yes, that's what they did. And they will do the same to you. Yes. Do you know that you represent the Hamas terrorist organization? If you want to represent the Hamas terrorist organization, you support South Africa today. We will not stop. We will make any effort necessary to release our parents, to release our siblings, to release our children who are being held by Hamas. Imagine, imagine it would have been your mother, your sister, your daughter, who was suffering ongoing atrocities. It didn't end on October 7th, as we speak. 134 hostages, young girls, babies, being raped and tortured. 
Yes. Imagine it would have been your family. How would you vote today about supporting South Africa, protecting so-called political so, sorry, detainees? Sorry, Anna Bodani. There is a... Hold on. We are hold, willing... Hold on, hold on. We are, hold, hold on, uh, Dan Danon. Ho, hold on, hold on. Let's have order. Uh, I have seen you, uh, Belgium, but uh, we have a point of order requested by Palestine. Yes. Palestine? Dear colleagues, let's hear him, let him finish, and then we keep moving. We demand global condemnation of the Hamas terrorist organization and its sponsor, the Islamic Republic of Iran. We expect from you, we expect from you to condemn what happened to demand non-state actors to take actions in order to release our hostages. We understand that none of us is happy with the scenes that we are watching coming from Gaza. But if one of you in this floor can give me today another way for Israel to release the hostages, I will come and see you, including the Palestinian Authority, Give us another way to bring our boys and girls back home, and we will listen to that. Okay, now, um, who would like to take the floor to speak against? Against? Uh, against, what's that? Ireland. Please hold it properly. Ireland. Ireland. Okay, Ireland, you have the right of reply. Sorry, just that... Uh... Sorry, right to object, sorry, sorry. Right to object. I want to answer that man. He said there's no other solution in, in what they're doing in Gaza. That Israeli man there who spoke, uh, telling lots of lies. He said there's no other way except what they're doing to get the hostages released. And he wants, he wants, he said if, if anybody has a solution other than what they're doing, we have solutions. In Ireland, we had similar problems in the north. So if he wants to talk to us, we will help him. Because what they're doing now has not re released the hostages. It has not led to any resolution. It has re led to thousands of Palestinian children dying. Thousands have died in what they're doing. Killing more people has resolved nothing. We have learned... We had... We had... We had 800 years of British invasion in Ireland, and we still managed to find a solution, but it was put from putting down our guns, not from picking up more guns, which is what the Israelis keep doing now. Not the Israeli people, I do not blame them. They have a right to get their hostages back, and the Israeli families have been failed by the Israeli government, because they, they keep killing Palestinians, and they're not getting their hostages back. It is not working. Israel has failed, and they must put down their arms before they make any demands. We need a full ceasefire now. <laughs> Nothing else will work. So he can come and talk to it's Ireland, we'll tell him how it's done. We can no longer allow a child to die tonight without lending a voice. It doesn't matter which side. We are all parents. If we come here to look for ego, and then try to, it's not affecting them. There's nothing that is affecting uh, Denmark here. There's nothing that is affecting South Africa. The people affected are over there. And then, of course, nobody will agree to the loan uh, uh, resolution from Israel. It must be all encompassing so that we stand up from here as human beings. That will be my plea. Let them go aside, meet, and remove those vexatious items. In the course of discussions, we can have amendments. We can add items that we feel we should add. But we must discuss the Gaza issue in this one for the eighth IPU assembly. That's my Thank position. You.